Hey Ross, hey Skip here with McGrath. Uh, so I'm here to do that, that walk around for you on the 2021 uh, Grand Cherokee L. Um, this is the Altitude Edition, uh, as you can tell with the black wheels and everything. And uh, we'll get to the front here so you can see the blacked out uh, chrome bumper and all that stuff. So uh, starting off here, I just wanted to get a side view so you guys can see the color um, and how that looks. I do like the mixture of the white and black. And then of course here you got up the front here, up front here everything is, is blacked out. So the grill is blacked out and then down here also is blacked out. So starting off in the, also in the motor here we got 3.6 liter V6 motor, 24 valve, uh, which is really good for you know going up and down mountains and stuff like that. Not losing power, not overheating, um, just not losing out on anything. But uh, really nice. And of course that blacked out Jeep motor. So, LED lights. We do have passive entry on here, so basically this right here, there's you can see the it's a little bit rub, you can feel that rub right there. Uh, basically, um, it's passive entry, so you can lock the vehicle that way and then unlock it just by putting your hand in the handle, uh, which makes it real easy. So you don't have to be fishing for your keys when you're trying to get to your car. Um, just basically put your hand in the handle and get right in. Also, do have blind spot monitoring on the mirrors here. The light up yellow when someone's in your blind spot. Now getting into getting inside here, this is what separates this vehicle from a lot of others. Um, the interior in this is amazing. So they, you know, they really took their time and decided on a great design uh, for the inside of the of the Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee L's. Uh, it's really nice, really classy inside. Um, you would never tell that this thing could, you know, virtually go almost anywhere. Uh, it's still it's still rugged it's still jeep rugged you know driving you can go off road uh, and stuff like that you have a ton of clearance and everything but getting inside here to this, to the uh, interior uh, the leather seats so you got the leather outside and then the insert is more of a suede but uh, really nice really comfortable not sliding all over the place when you're stepping on the brake or anything you know but to still have that comfort of the leather uh, getting in, also in here so you, you do on the newer ones here so these come automatically with uh, adaptive cruise control which is really nice helps when you're on those long trips and everything you don't have to keep resetting your cruise control um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that when you guys come in and test drive um, then you also have the lane departure on here too as well so virtually between the two the adaptive cruise control and the lane departure on the interstate it can almost drive itself okay so um, not that I recommend doing that but it's still capable it's still capable uh, you have heated seats on here. You also have a heated steering wheel. You have the new dial uh, shifter and everything. The other cool thing about this is is that um, you do have Apple CarPlay and Google Play, but you no longer need the cord uh, to get that to work. You just basically hook up your Bluetooth, and it automatically just uh, clocks you right into your um, to your Apple CarPlay and Google Play, which is really awesome. Power seats on this side. Getting in the back here, you got the captain seats, really comfortable. Uh, they do recline, they do fold down pretty easy. They also do slide forward and backward to give the guys in the back a little bit more room. And back here, you just got the two seats in the back. Really nice and comfortable. Everybody's got their own vent back here. Uh, the guys up front here has got the vents in the doors. Um, and then everybody in the back's got the vents up, up against the windows. You can kind of see it from here, but uh, real easy. Uh, to get in, you want to let people into the back. You just pull that top handle, and then you can, and then they can just climb right in. And then they got uh, climate controls in the back, USB ports for for charging, cup holders, and then the vents are back here already, so they don't have to wait for the AC or the heat. Those tires do actually do nitrogen air, which is really nice for the winter. Um, so you don't have to worry about, I mean, they don't, inf they don't deflate your tires as fast as regular air does. Uh, so they are kind of nice for the winter time, but in the back here is the storage. Uh, not much room, but there is some storage back here. If you put the seats down, of course you got more storage. And then underneath here is, uh, is this here. So you got storage down here too as well. Power lift gate. These do go down pretty easy too. So you just lift, pull that and then push forward and then they go down and then you got power lift gate
same thing on that side. So the passenger side is manual, uh, not, no power seats on the, on the passenger side. Uh, it's probably another reason why it would be less money than um, the others, but uh, still not bad. Now, getting to the key fob. So here's the key fob. You got your unlock, you got your lock, and then you have your lift gate, your power lift gate. So you can just double click and that automatically lifts the gate. Uh, here's your remote start. You do not have to lock it before your remote start. You just double click. It automatically locks. Actually, I don't have, I don't know if I got enough gas in here. Oh, there it goes. Automatically locks and then it starts right up. I know I don't have a lot of fuel in here. Usually 